Welcome to another episode of Stock Talk Product Review. I am your host, Mike, and with me I have the original Plex. Plex, what's going on? Not much. It's another day, another dollar. Kiss their butt and what? I'm reviewing a Big Mac. You're having a Big Mac? You better enjoy that Big Mac. It'd probably cost you like uh, 20 bucks next year or the year after. Uh, we got some more devastating news out of, out of about the economy just released from Steve Cortez. Uh, the, the National Association of Home Builders uh, has just cited uh, the, the NAHB index is nearly cut in half. Uh, as you can see, the chart uh, from the beginning of the uh, from 2021 uh, all the way you come out and uh, down to July 2022, uh, you're looking at uh, we, we went from 83 to 46. Uh, it's the lowest number since 2014. 2014 there, uh, Camilo, do you have anything, have, have you been noticing around the less uh, starts and things like that? Like they're not building as much as far as uh, new construction parts there or no? Yeah, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff that's not being built. And there's a lot of stuff not being sold no more. Mm-hmm, exactly. Are you noticing in the supply chains and things like that? Uh, you're seeing changes there where there's less uh, there's less freight and wood moving and things like that since you're you're in that you're in the trading industry there with that. Pretty much. Uh, it looks like uh, so. So that that's one devastating chart as we see here. So you're seeing in in this chart where the where the arrow down oh, uh, significantly. Like I said, we are at 83. We're down to 46 uh, now uh, for your housing numbers there. So you're seeing a decline in housing. Well, why is that? Uh, because you have uh, interest rates, which are go are climbing. Uh, you could see uh, with uh, Cortez also puts out, you have uh, services for inflation. Your health insurance is up 24.3%. Car insurance is up 8.7%. 8, 8 um, he, has, he has pet services at 9.6. Some people have their pets with that. And then legal services are 9.3. Uh, also, you don't have in there auto, things like that. Uh, you also have uh, you also have here uh, your bond market chart, chart here. The the consequence of news today is that the Treasury ten year interest uh, rates are rising uh, to three point five uh, three point five. The level is unseen since twenty eleven. Uh, so what's happening uh, with that market? What's why the significance of that is that's that's this chart right here explains uh, when they're doing when they're doing that uh, sell off. Uh, that means interest rates uh, for your car loans, credit cards, and everything like that are all going to go up when when that sell-off happens. That's that's the ten-year uh, Treasury bond yield chart right there. Uh, what have you seen in that with some of your friends in the car industries and things like that? Are you seeing any any numbers in there? Not selling cars because they're sitting on the lot because they're overpriced. Yeah, that that and that's what some of your friends on the lot they're just saying they're sitting there and everybody's like, don't buy, it's overpriced because. Uh, they they have to correct these and things like that. Obviously, if you need something, then you're you know that, that's that's going to happen there. So this chart is the ten year uh, uh, bond bond yield chart. Uh, any any anything to do with borrow uh, to the highest level uh, since 2011, and we're 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 coming uh, we were coming out of the recession in 2011. So in 2011, this the numbers on this were changing, and then uh, you had some other. Uh, you had you had some other things happening there, so that's why uh, you saw that then. Uh, what what do you have to add on on this chart here? Are we going to see uh, the Fed? The Fed's going to meet up here shortly on Wednesday. Uh, they're talking. I've heard rumors of three quarters of a base point for interest rates to go up to one. Uh, what what's your prediction on that, there, Camille? Do you think it's just going to go to one, or you think they're just going to stick with the standard three quarter to be safe? Probably going to be safe for right now. Yeah. Do you think in November and December you could see three quarters of a basis point to a, a base point uh, one, and then also uh, in December you could see interest rates climbing. With that, uh, obviously there goes the housing market. This isn't any fear mongering. This is just truth because uh, getting paid to stay at home uh, cost you there a little bit, uh, wouldn't you say? Yes, sir. So I'm going to show you another chart here, and it's another leading economic indicator. We're going to bring it up here in in just a second here. Here, uh, Cameo, you have right here the FedEx chart, FDX. This is uh, this is the the indicator which we did. Uh, what was it? 
uh, recently, last week, we talked about how the FedEx stock was dropping. Now, this isn't a knock on the FedEx company, so don't get, get don't get us wrong there. But here's the five year chart. Dude, uh, FedEx you know, sucks. Dude, I know a guy that worked there. He told me he hated it. <laughs> There's a lot of people that hate it, and there's a lot of people that like it. Some people like it because it's guaranteed money and guaranteed stops. So, uh, regardless, this is this this economic indicator. It's this is just an economic indicator. UPS stock has gone down ever since too, and that's not a knock on what the companies are doing or anything. But what's happening with this chart right here, as you can see, where the arrow goes down, what the, what that's telling us is that FedEx is a, is a bellwether of how uh, the the, uh, of how uh, some of the retail economic side, how things are, there's less spending and things like that. So you have the FedEx chart and, uh, you know, the, the CEO said that, you know, Fred Smith said, yeah, things are going good. Uh, he uh, also Kramer, uh, Jim Kramer on CS CNBC, they were like, things are going good. And then they saw this come around and they're like, uh oh, which means uh, obviously the global economy is shrinking and uh, it's it's collapsing because of this all this monopoly money that's being spread kind of almost like uh world war uh world war one there huh after world war one there with the great oh, yeah. depression is this kind of, is this kind of reminding me of that as far as uh look, hopefully uh you know people can turn this around uh you know and and try to try to you know prevent this from happening quit pr printing the monopoly money obviously uh, what's your take on this? Uh, do you th do you think uh, someone said to Raj and uh, and and the Freddy Ball game? Do you think they said, "Hey, let's uh, you guys you, you don't say anything about this yet because it's getting that bad," and they just FedEx kept quiet about it, or what do you think? Yeah, that's what they do best. Yeah, I I think that I think they were just didn't want to do any fa panic or anything, and I just think they possibly kept it quiet or something like that, and just. Uh, they just didn't want to. They were trying to do what's best and just keep things rolling because that's what FedEx does. Is they just try to keep things rolling and doing things. Uh, looks like uh, so the economy is down. It's contracting. Uh, this stock, uh, uh, the FedEx stock. If you can go back in history, uh, just for uh, do you know when Biden took uh, office? This thing was at two fifty. Really? What is, what is it at what now? Is that to you? It's it's at one sixty two ninety right here. So you're at 162.90, yeah. and uh, it, it it so what 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 I'm basically saying is is the constant money printing press that they're doing, they're not they're not doing anything to combat the problem. But Jerome Powell, the Fed chairman, uh, he's being some some people are calling saying that he idolizes Paul Volcker. If you recall uh, on other shows like we talked oh. about, he must yeah. be watching the. So uh, as you can recall. Uh, during the Carter years, uh, as Volcker comes in and talks to Carter and says, hey, I've got to raise interest rates uh, or this whole thing's imploding and I'm just trying to save America. Uh, do you think Jerome Powell's coming in here and saying, hey, I, I've got to raise these rates here because I've got to combat inflation. It's getting too bad. It's getting too out of control and things are just getting getting worse. Pretty much. That's what they're doing right now, because nothing's getting better from what I can see. For the most no, part, you know, everything's falling apart. You see, you see people, uh, one, I mean, one in six Americans right now are behind on their utility bills. Is that insane or what they're, that uh, is insane. That is crazy. You know? Yeah. One in six Americans are behind in their utility bills. Uh, they're, they're just trying to keep the lights on. They're trying to, they're trying to put gas in the tank. I, it doesn't help that gas is still where it's at. And the people are poor people are just trying to get to work and everything like that. Everything is up, everything is up because that is the price to pay for this constant spend, spend, spend uh, that the that the that the that the world economy has there, uh, and it, it it you know it is what it is there. We just got a flash on the chart there, at, like after hours chart. Nothing changed there or whatever because they, they're done. But uh, it's funny how it just blinked right there on the screen. Uh, do you have any Do you have anything uh, to add add on this as far as with the the meeting on Wednesday? No, no, no meeting on Wednesday. Maybe a meeting on Tuesday or Thursday. No, sorry, with or, or sorry, with the Fed, the the Fed, the, Jerome Powell and them, they've got the meeting on on Wednesday. You think that's uh, you think you think it's wishful thinking for some people? What what is it? What do you think this is going to do to the housing market there, uh, Camille? As far as if they, when they raise this up another point, people are going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So we'll just, we'll just have to see where this plays out. Uh, no stocks tonight. We're not going to talk about any of that. We just wanted to cover uh, this breaking news on everything. And uh, maybe uh, – didn't you get some uh, Kawasaki's there or no? Yeah, I got some Kawasaki's and I got a brand new 2022 Polaris. I don't know, some kind of four-wheeler that's like super fast. I don't know what it's so, called. So we got, we got several reviews on that we're going to have to come out with and do that, put that out there. So – but uh, we're we're working on that there. Uh, do you guys need to add about this uh, terrible news here or no? Uh, Kage might be able to add some onto it. Oh yeah, sure he will. So he'll be uh, he'll be doing something there with his uh, wizard tricks and his uh, wizard games. I guess he does. I don't know. So uh, don't make it a dog show and uh, go Dodgers or what? Let's go Dodgers, yes sir. And good night now.